how to use Printify with Etsy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can get started with Printify and Etsy. So let's get into it. Now Etsy is one of the largest marketplaces out there to sell customized or to sell different creative products. It's super popular and people purchase so often from Etsy. It's a very large marketplace and you can sell more niched out items than you normally would sell on Amazon. So it's a perfect market for creating or targeting a more creative audience. And Printify is a platform that enables you to create your own designs and sell customized products. So to get started with both of these platforms and use Printify as your partner to sell on Etsy, simply head on over to printify.com. You're going to click on sign up on the top right over here. And once you click on sign up, you can sign up for free with your email address or continue with Google. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log into that. But even if you don't have an account, they just have a couple of onboarding questions uh, regarding how you want to start selling. So you have to create your account via your email address and design your first product and that is around it. So after that, you can go on ahead and click into the catalog section on the top and you have some featured products, Valentine's Day picks. So let's say I want to take a look at the Valentine's Day picks and uh, we have greeting cards, we have jewelry boxes, we have uh, frames, we have mugs, stickers, t-shirts, and then you also have featured products, bestsellers, you know, things that are doing the best. And then you have categorizations like men's clothes, women's clothing, kids' clothing, accessories, home things. So let's say I want to sell mugs, so I can go into the mug section. And I have, you know, ceramic white mugs. And you will see the same kind of listing for, you know, an item. All of these are vetted by Printify. But you can also go on ahead and take a look at the print area. So let's say I want all over print. And or maybe I want it on all areas. So this is a standard mug. This is a color changing mug. This is a two-tone coffee mug. And let's say that I want the fulfillment center to be in the United States or Canada. So you can select that based on what kind of customer or audience you're trying to target. If you're trying to target customers in the United States, you can go on ahead and select the area to be the United States. If you want to target customers in Canada, you can select Canada as the fulfillment center. So uh, I'm just going to go on ahead and take a look at the different fulfillment centers. So let's say I want it to be United States because I want to sell my uh, product in the United States. Then I have colorful mugs and white ceramic mugs. So I'm going to go with colorful mugs. And now you can see I have like a very basic mug. Now I can click on start designing over here and they have 12 different designs. And I can go on ahead and upload my design over here. You can upload your design uh, based on, you know, custom text, Shutterstock imagery, Dropbox image, Google Drives, Fiverr, or even upload custom text. You also have your library where you can see all of your design designs. So let's say I want to add this little design that I created previously. And this is the Be Mine design like this. So let's say I want it to appear just as it is, maybe slightly smaller like so and then we have all 12 colors so what kind of colors do i want to create this in let's say i want to create it in these three colors and you can also make a specific design to for black as well so you can go on ahead and customize that as well then you can choose your background color let's say i want it to be black and then you can add more designs as well but i'm going to click on save product this is just a sample product so i'm going to continue on now, after that, you can see your mockups, how it's going to look from the left, right, all, you know, in context, how it's going to appear. Let's say I don't like the placement. Maybe I want to go ahead and change how the text is appearing. So I can go into my library, go into the design, and let's say I want it to appear right like this. And then in the colors that I want it to be, and maybe I want to keep the background color white instead of changing it. Now I can click on save products. And now I think I like this a lot more. So after that, I can, the, I want the title image color to be with red and then maroon and then black. 
then you can enter your product description how you want it to appear you can customize that as well this is instead of you know writing colorful mugs i want it to be so the be mine valentine's mug and then i have the basic description you can also add you know the sizes to the description uh we have you know one size but if you're designing a different kind of product you can enter the sizes your visibility now after that you're going to click on publish now once you have created your products you're going to connect your etsy store so to connect your etsy store you simply click on the top right over here i currently have my wix store connected but i'm going to click on add a new store and then after that it will show you the options that it has so for that you're just going to click on that the first or second option is going to be etsy so you're just going to select etsy from here just click on connect to etsy and once you click on connect to etsy uh you're just going to allow access so allow access from for printify to etsy so i'm just going to click on grant access over here so once etsy has been linked you can go on ahead and start selling i haven't set up my etsy sellers account but if i click on sell on etsy you can click on get started and click on let's do this you can just skip these questions if you want you can click on start your shop over here and then i'm going to click on over here i'm going to name my shop enter my shipping and billing information and then i can go back and link etsy over here and that is all i have to do to get started with selling on etsy you can do this with any other platform you have multiple different options and you can create you know so many different kinds of products using printify especially with the fact that you can connect to large retailers as well such as walmart or if you have your own shopify store you can link it to that as well but this allows you to create a single product and sell it on multiple different marketplaces as well as having a simple setup for all your products as well and a large catalog so it's simple and easy for you to get started with designing items so if i wanted to create a collection based on the be mine logo that i created i can go into women's clothing now and go into the unisex t-shirt and I can create a t-shirt using, you know, my same design. So I can click on start designing and get it all uploaded on my Etsy shop as well. So in the front side, I can click on my library, enter the text over here, resize it, place it however I want, like so. And then I can go into the back side and then I can click on add design, my device or my library. And on the back side i want to enter like a large section and then i can enter what kind of colors i want there to be for this t-shirt let's say i want it to be in all these colors and all eight colors so i'm going to click on save product now and the best part is that the fulfillment all of that happens very efficiently so you can click on publish and after that you can also choose in your store settings on printify to see how fast a item should be uh you know added to your store so uh whenever someone's uh automated you know orders so you can click on enable automated order routing and you can click on this and you can click on order approval so automatically in 24 hours automatically at a certain time every day so this can allow you to get you know cancellations let's say that someone orders an item off of your etsy store then they message you being like, hey, it was an accidental order. I don't want that item. But Printify is going, if you, you know, have manual or automatic one hour approvals, then Printify is automatically going to create the product and ship it to the customer. So you can choose automatically in 24 hours or at a certain time. So you can choose the time of day. Then you also have order view settings. So show only those order fulfilled by Printify. Then you have your order taking settings. So as soon as it is available or at a certain time every day, then delayed orders to production and then email preferences as well. So this can allow you to make sure the uh, supply chain of your products is simple and working efficiently as possible. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.